thank you very, very much for that session, Claire, I think, and, and the panel. I think it was really good to finish on some very sort of practical discussion about the how-to aspect of all of this, because as I said earlier, it is important that we get beyond the networking uh, point. So I'm just going to make a few closing remarks now. I think, I think today's focus has been on this interface between making and science, manufacturing and technology. And I think what we've seen today is just how varied the making and the knowledge can be, and indeed how broadly that knowledge can be applied. I think there are two or three points that I've, I've sort of drawn out of it that I, I found particularly interesting, and, and perhaps also relate to some of the other agendas that um, um, I'm, I'm personally concerned with. I thought one, one of the very interesting things that came out of Sarah um, Pape and um, Rian Solomon's discussion was this notion of, of skin being like a knitted object and the way that you can pull it in all these different directions. I thought that was quite an extraordinary image that came to mind. But I thought also very interesting the way that Sarah had done a lot of making, uh, knitting and sewing and things like that, which had informed her practice as a surgeon and the way in which that sort of making skill can, can influence and um, help you in a completely different profession. And equally with Joshua and Roger, um, Joshua talking about that way of learning through doing, you know, the 10,000, so well, actually not even perhaps the 10,000 hours, but the principle of learning to, to work with your hands. And I think that does raise a really, really important point about the whole issue of education and the opportunities for children and young people to make and learn about materials and processes, whether they're going to end up being makers, engineers, designers, or indeed surgeons that opportunity to engage in that way at, at school and at college is hugely important because we need that next generation because if we don't have it, we're stuffed. Um, the second point, I think, was also the way in which, and again, with, with, with a number of the discussions today, I think, about this, this way in which collaboration is a two-way iterative knowledge exchange and about how that conversation across disciplines can enable specialists to understand their own work as well as someone else's. So it brings you to a greater understanding of what you're doing as well as, as through somebody else's, somebody else's work. And I think clearly that process is absolutely key to all of this and indeed to innovation more generally. And the third thing I think I would pick up is um, within the Benchpeg um, presentation, there was a, a reference to, the, um, to perhaps the fact that there hadn't been as much reference as there should have been to the, to the sort of history of craft and, and its practices. Um, and, and I thought it was very interesting when Roger, uh, Julian was talking about the importance, uh, the, the history of embroidery and how that's in... Um, a, um, a time-honoured tradition which they are now using in these new ways. And I think it's really, really important that we talk about the importance of traditional skill and craft, but absolutely it is part of a continuum with the new technology that we're working with. And it's, it's how those, those time-honoured practices and disciplines are informing and being applied in these new ways. For me, that is absolutely the way that those traditions can be preserved by applying them to these new ways of working. And I think that we are really at a moment when there's a, a real understanding or an acknowledgement that we need to, to, to use those and we can use those practices in those new ways. So looking forward, I think it's very clear that there's been some really inspiring work shown today and some really interesting work happening. But there's clearly much more that can and does need to happen. And we need to build on the creativity and en energy that we've seen today. And I think that there's been in this room today as well. From the Crafts Council's point of view, we clearly have a role to play. We've already produced a number of pieces of research trying to um, show a, um, a, a light onto some of the work that's already been, doing, been done in this area. And one of the reports, Crafting Capital, that we um, produced last year, particularly focused on a number of recommendations that need to happen in order to develop this work further. The first one was around the need for networking, and there was a reference earlier today about sometimes the fact that makers work in isolation and the need to bring people together. And, of course, that's absolutely been what today has been about, and, of course, it was picked up in this last session, all the different sorts of networks that people can, can engage in. So I do encourage people to, to seek those out and make use of them. 
I think there's also an issue about the importance of, um, of creating tangible collaborations, and I hope that through some of the discussions today there will be some opportunities um, for people to do exactly that. And I particularly um, make a plea to those of you who come from universities, clearly research funding is really important in this and the opportunity to draw makers um, into that, those technology research projects I think is really important, so I do hope that more of that that will come out of this. The third thing is around the importance of influencing government and the government's agendas around this. As we know, there's been a very strong emphasis in science and technology and growth strategies. And obviously, part of the reason why we're making these arguments around the, the value of craft is about how we can demonstrate the role that it has within those agendas. And it was heartening to hear Ed talk about that earlier today, but clearly we all need to be lobbying and making that argument to government for those people to understand and see that there is value in our sector going forward. So I think we all absolutely have a part to play in this, and I very much encourage you all to go out and, and, and push the debate on. So finally, I would like to thank some people. I would like to have th firstly thank all of the speakers um, and the panellists. Everyone has been absolutely fantastic. I think it's been a really, really good day. Um, and I've, I've learned a huge amount. And it's really made me think more about this whole issue of collaboration, but also how important this area is to the sector going forward. I'd like to thank the Assemble Partners, Watershed, Caper, and Crafts Magazine. And I should also say there are Crafts Magazines in front of you on the back of the seats. Please do take them. They are complimentary magazines. Grab one if you can. Um, I'd also like to thank um, Karen Yair, who was our research associate on this project, and all of the Crafts Council staff um, who have worked on this, both in terms of the, um, the uh, steering group and, and in organizing this event. And I'd also like to thank you as an audience. You've been fantastic, you've responded, you've been very buzzy. The feel in the room has been really positive, so thank you very much. And I know there's been a lot going on in the ether with Twitter, so thank you for the tweeters as well. Um, we will be um, uh, carrying on with that. Please do carry on um, Twittering, and please obviously do go back to the website, and as I said at the beginning, we will be putting um, the, um, the proceedings from today up there alongside uh, the Assemble 2010 uh, conference as well. And I should also just say that I think the plan is to put the Roger Nebo and Joshua Byrne um, film up there and the Junie and Alice one, so... Um, because I know he couldn't show that one. So please do go back to look at the website. There will be things there. Um, and finally, to the makers in the room, as I've said many times before, without you, there is no craft. Um, and so please do keep demonstrating what a creative, innovative, and resourceful group you are, because that's what we need to move ourselves forward. So please have a safe journey home. Thank you very much for coming today. Uh, really appreciate your contribution. And uh, thank you, and good night.